Hi everyone. So this week we're going to be talking about artist Christy Belcour, but before we do that I wanted to show you something really cool. So we were at the store the other day and found this can of Campbell's soup. Now what's really interesting about this can of Campbell's soup is that it is a 60th edition special um, and you'll see right there it's actually an Andy Warhol limited edition. Um, so if you remember Andy Warhol is the, um, there's a picture of, oh, let me see if I can turn it, there he is right there and um, he's the artist that we studied when we were talking about pop art, um, the artist who did all the really interesting portraits of people. And so the can says, 2020 marks the 60th anniversary of Andy Warhol's first drawing featuring Campbell's soup. Um, and so we had some really famous pictures with Campbell's soup just like printed over and over again. So um, this week we're going to be talking about Christy Belcour. And the reason why I chose Christy to focus on this week is because A, we've kind of been talking a lot about men artists and I thought it was time that we talked about a woman. And um, B, she's Canadian, which is pretty cool. Um, and also C, I just think her art is really amazing and really beautiful. There's been a couple displays of her artwork actually at the Thunder Bay Art Gallery that I've gone to see. And also I've seen her artwork in um, actually in Pearson um, at the airport in Toronto, her artwork is displayed. There's displays at the National Art Gallery of Canada and at the Ontario Art Gallery. Um, so she's super famous and her artwork is really beautiful. So I'm gonna go to a little bit of a slides presentation now where you can see some pictures, um, learn a little bit more about her, um, and then there's going to be some videos where you that you can watch where you'll actually hear her talking about her artwork. Um, so I hope that you enjoy her artwork as much as I do um, and that you enjoy learning about um, a different a different artist. So um, this first picture I wanted to show you this painting. Um, the reason I wanted to put it on here first is because it's actually um, a painting that has been hanging in um, Pearson Airport in Toronto. And so it's one of the reasons that I thought about Christy Belcour when I was thinking about who we might want to look at this week. Um, and here's another example of a painting by Christy Belcour. And here you can really sort of see the, the dot style that she's really well known for. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. So who is Christy Belcour? She is a Michif or Métis visual artist. So she's an Indigenous Canadian woman. Um, and she has a deep respect for Mother Earth, the traditions, and the knowledge of her people. And that really comes across in her paintings. Oftentimes there are uh, medicines that are important to the Métis people. Um, there's teachings about respect and um, about the earth and water in her paintings. Um, she's also, in addition to being an, a painter, she's also a community-based artist. And actually we're going to um, spend two weeks looking at the work of Christy Belcour and we're going to talk about some of her um, community activism next week. And so she does a lot of work as an environmental advocate, advocating for the lands, the waters, and indigenous people. She also led and coordinated the Walking With Our Sisters project, which actually spent some time here in Thunder Bay. And it's a project that honors murdering or missing indigenous women. Um, her style of painting is meant to res um, represent beadwork. So that's why you see all those little dots. Um, that is, um, that's, uh, meant to show um, or to, to, to represent what beadwork would look like on moccasins or clothing. Um, and so that's where that comes from. And as I mentioned, she uses plants and animals as symbols in her painting. So there's a lot of symbolism in her painting, um, which is what the focus of our assignments is going to be this week. And her paintings also often use symmetry. So that means that one side of the painting looks like it's reflected on the other side of the painting. So here's another example of one of um, her pieces of artwork. And you can really kind of see the patterns or the symmetry in this painting. And you can also again see the little dots. All this, these beautiful plants are created by small tiny dots. And here's a quote from Christy. My heart overflows with love for the beauty of this world. The mystery of this planet and this universe is too vast and too powerful to even begin to understand. 
All I know is that all life, even the rocks, need to be treated with respect. So your task this week. So I'd like you to choose one of these things. Um, the first one is you can print off and color one of the coloring pages that were created by Christy Belcour. They're inspired by her paintings. Um, they're really beautiful and she's sharing them for free on her Facebook page. So I'll make sure I add some links to those in um, your assignment. So you can print one off and color them. Um, I don't have a printer at home, but I know many of you may not, um, but I thought I, I would include this as an option just in case you did. And once you're finished coloring, make sure you take a picture of it and share it with me. You can also watch the video of Christy Belcourt talking about her painting, My Heart is Beautiful, and explain three different symbols in her painting. So what are three things that are included in the painting that mean something, that have a special meaning behind them? And the last one, option three, you can create your own piece of art that uses a symbol to communicate a message. Um, take a picture of it and share it with me. You can choose any style of art that you would like, drawing, painting, sculpture. It doesn't have to look anything like a Christy Belcour painting, um, but it has to include at least one symbol in it. And I'm gonna show you an example of something I created in just a second. So just so you can see, if you decide to choose option three and to create your own work of art, um, you can use any medium that you want, um, anything that you happen to have around. So I actually just set up the desk that I'm working on today. And so because of it, I had all this cardboard hanging around um, that the desk was packaged in. So I thought I would use a piece of that because it was something I had handy. And then I had some chalk as well. So I made this picture. So you can see it doesn't look anything like a Christy Belcour painting, um, but I created it because for me, water really symbolizes um, freedom. The feeling of being, um, of swimming in, in a lake or in the ocean, I feel weightless and I feel free. Um, and so especially right now when I'm spending so much time at home, I wanted to create something that symbolizes that idea of freedom for me. Um, so that's what, what this painting does, or not painting, drawing, chalk drawing does. Um, so you can create a piece of work with any kind of um, pencils, markers, paints. You can create a sculpture like we did last week, really anything you want that has some sort of symbol in it. So as always, I'm really looking forward to seeing whatever it is you happen to create um, or hearing your answers if you choose option two, um, that you just want to watch the video and then explain three of the symbols in Christy's painting. Um, and we'll talk, learn a little bit more about Christy Belcourt next week. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, it's super sunny outside today, so I hope that you're getting a bit of chance to get outside and get some fresh air and get some sunshine. Um, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.